Hey guys, it's your boy, V1CK, with another episode of Pack Progression, episode 11, if you want to get technical. We are going to open a pack. You know the squad by now. We've got some Serie A subs, Premier League left-hand side, Brazilian right-hand side, but it's all about Pato up front. We are desperately seeking right-backs and left-backs, and we get one in this pack... But it's a blooming Mexican from the middle of nowhere, Perez. I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's awesome. But we need a Premier League fullback or a Serie A one or a Brazilian one. So these guys aren't super useful. I don't think. Um, we love our contract cards. Uh, we use them for adding contracts. Um, yeah. So uh, so I trade off half of this stuff. Um, the kit's quite sexy. The Bordeaux kit. We've got the matching set now. We'll have home and away Bordeaux kits. Um, which is never a bad thing when you think about it for a long period of time like I have. Um, I'll get rid of that one. No one buys a white kit. And uh, there you go. Look at them. Two lovely, lovely kits. Uh, I'll open another pack for you guys. Why not? Don't worry about the uh, coin situation. Um, I will transfer some more coins to this account, so don't worry that we're running out of coins for packs. I um, <clears throat> if we get really desperate and we never just get a full back, and we get a couple more episodes down the line, I might just buy a couple of players, or I might leave it to you guys in comments. I will buy whoever you say in the comments, just to finish off this team and then we'll get into a couple of tournaments with it and wrap up the series and then I'll find out what you guys want me to do next I don't want to bore you guys um, that Devio sent striker he has turned out to be useful um, he is very very useful in fact uh, Bonera centre back also Syria we're loving that any Syria Premier League or uh, Brazilian players fit in lovely jubbly in a way that uh, you'll see shortly. Uh, we also get in this pack uh, centre defensive midfielder to centre midfielder card, uh, CDM to CM card, probably easier to say. Um, yeah, we get one of them and uh, that's quite handy as well. We've got a few players that aren't in the correct position for where they're standing. And I uh, got rid of those kits. Those are cool kits, but I don't have a use for them. So, so this is how it all looks now. Surprise! Okay, so Ayrton, we changed from a centre defensive mid to a centre mid to give him a, a dark green boot on that side. Um, and the centre back, Bonera, goes straight in. Um, in the next episode, guys, I do a little flick around, actually. And uh, you can see you can, you can see quite a different looking squad in the next episode. Um, it's the same, exactly the same players, um, but the bench is on and some of the guys are rested. A lot of the guys were tired, and we don't seem to be getting a lot of fitness cards in these packs. And uh, I didn't really set myself a rule about consumables. Am I allowed to buy consumables or not? I, I didn't even remember to check. Um, so I don't know. Uh, so we've got a few guys that are fitness tired, so um, in the next episode I'll really swap the team around and it works out quite nicely. Uh, and Devayo gets a start and Craig Gordon gets a start and people of that ilk. Okay, so um, this is who we get drawn up against. Johnny Typical Barclays Premier Liga. Um, it's got a quite a nice balance to it with Anderson and Ramirez. Uh, Tarat with his 5 star skills and Wright Phillips with his pace. And he gets uh, a really frustrating goal in a way there. Uh, I've never seen Arshavan jump. Never seen him bother to jump, never mind climb so high that he gets the top of his head on that one. Uh, cracking header. He can't take it away from the boy. I thought Arshavan was amazing Bef just before he came to Arsenal. In, the world, in that World Cup before he came to Arsenal. I thought he was astonishingly good. Um, but he had he has a very unique role for his country, doesn't he? He sort of it's a completely free role. They seem to play a four four one, and he goes wherever he chooses. Obviously, you can't do that at club level. You can't 
build a team around uh, one player, unless you're Chelsea, who have built their team around Lampard for the last four or five years. But that's been effective because they've known what they're doing and he's been quality. The trouble is now he's uh, he's getting past it, isn't he? So They're in transition at Chelsea. Why am I talking about that? I don't know. Okay, so we're 2-1 up at half-time. And we're running it. Um, but this guy wasn't particularly bad player at all. And his team, like I say, it did have nice balance. It worked well. Um, we, It was a lot tighter in the second half, actually. He um, came back into it. He had a couple of good chances. And uh, he, he sort of he sort of learnt my moves and things. And he was more aware of my the way I was going to attack him. So it made for a much tighter half, really. That would have been cool if that volley had gone in from Welbeck, <laughs> but it did not. Um, yeah, so even this one didn't go in. That was frustrating. That was an amazing save. Pepe Reina's class, by the way, guys, if you're wondering. Um, he was the um, goalie on my second team on my main account last year, FIFA 11. Um, I had um, a Spanish-inflicted Barclays Premier League team. Um, and it was incredible, and he was incredible in it. Um, so it finished 2-1, despite all those chances and things. Um, stay tuned, guys, for the next couple of episodes. Um, I'll keep opening loads of packs and stuff. Um, and yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Ruin Arandama. Check that out if you haven't. Cheers, bye.